freaking Saturday, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm working on a little experiment here um, uh, with the upcoming 4th of July. Um, we always have a uh, fireworks show that we put on. And this year I'm trying to introduce a little bit of safety and technology into the, uh, into the show. Um, in the past we have um, always detonated the fireworks by manually lighting them which consisted of us running around with really cheap lighters or butane torches and lighting very short fuses. So this year, um, I had done some reviews and research on, uh, on the internet and found that a lot of you are using the Raspberry Pis and some other forms of uh, relays and whatnot. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of an, uh, a relay system that I found um, online that others have used as well. Um, it's made by um, Sandsmart. Um, this one is a 16 port relay um, which uh, will work AC or DC. Um, it does up to 250 volts at 10 amps um, and 125 volts as well. Um, it also does DC. Um, this particular setup here has a, uh, a web server. So this little very, very basic. Each page, uh, you have to go to each page to see each relay, which I'm hoping to kind of redesign this a little bit um, so we don't have to or make a new web page. Um, but it, they're very simple uh, to turn a, a relay on and off. You just click on and off. So this is actually number six, so you can actually see number six here coming on, going off, going on. So, or you can do an all on or all off, which basically will turn all 16 on at once um, and turns them all off at once. Uh, these are not auto resetting relays, so if you do turn them on, you do have to click again to turn them off. Uh, so for the application I'm trying to use this year is I want to set these igniters off remotely so this system will be near the fireworks um, and we'll run the leads out but for this example I've got everything kind of set up here so I have just a regular 9 volt power adapter um, these igniters only need 6 volts to actually burn so I've used a 9 volt that's what I have handy here um, which goes on the, the main power lead here which is the center pin um, each relay has three pins. The center pin is going to be your input, uh, and you have to the to the right is your normal normally on, and to the left is going to be normal off. Um, and what that means is, depending on what you want to use this per relay for, if you want to use it for an off switch or an on switch, depends on how you will connect it here. So if, even if you see the, the the markings on the actual PCB board it's, uh, uh, relay itself. Um, that little piece of wire is basically an illustration that that's going to flip one way or the other. So right now, this would, if I had something hooked into the right side, it would be on because the power right now are tied together. When I throw the relay, it's going to disconnect the power and basically throw it over to the other one. Um, so what I'm using, what obviously what we need to use it for is we want to do normal off, and we want to use this for an on switch. So when we click the button, it turns this on sends the 9 volts through into and lights the igniter. Um, your grounds for the igniters is going to be tied into the normal grounds um, back with the power adapter. Okay, Pretty simple. Uh, like I said, now th this you can hook up to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this PCB board just unplugs. So you can kind of get a little quick little view there. So you can use the GPIO um, interface on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, a lot of the research I've done, a lot of uh, individuals have already used this type of system for like lighting, home automation, uh, exterior automation with like irrigation systems. Pretty simple. So I might experiment a little bit with hooking up the Raspberry Pi and, and um, seeing if I can really trick this thing out. And, but I think I might try to keep it simple this year. Um, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, again, this is a um, SandSmart 16-port relay. 
they do an eight port, a four port, and singles. Um, and this is sold separately. This is the web server, PCB board web server. Um, again, you can buy these for like 25 bucks. These are like 15, 20 bucks, depending on where you find them on Amazon. And I'll put the link somewhere here in the video uh, and also in the description.